Good evening, I'm Dr. Jim Hogue. Uh, some of you know me, some of you don't. Uh, and this is our meeting that we have, our health talk that we have to help people learn how to become healthy and stay healthy and how to, how to work together with us to get better results. Um, I'm going to start by, is everybody signed in first? Okay. I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about myself because it is one of my favorite topics. <laughs> um, I am a 1982 graduate of Palmer College of Chiropractic, and I've been practicing here in the Quad Cities continuously since 1983. We just had our 30th anniversary in practice this spring. Um, I'm a member of the International College of Applied Kinesiology. I'm a certified uh, teacher of Applied Kinesiology. I'm a dip in Applied Kinesiology, and um, for the last several years, I've been the chair of the uh, USA Board of Certified Teachers in Applied Kinesiology. You may get the idea that I put a lot of emphasis on applied kinesiology. Uh, that's my specialty, and we'll be talking more about what that is. Hi, come on in. Hi, uh, you just sign it over there if you would. I will. Okay. Well, that's that's, sorry, that's allowed too. Okay. Um, <coughs> when I was younger, the reason I got into doing what I'm doing today was because when I was younger, I was very ill. Uh, up until about, I was about five. I had pretty decent health. I had dramatic fever when I was about five, four and five. And after that, I had terrible health. I had, uh, I was just exhausted all the time. I, like to say, I had chronic fatigue back before it became popular. Yeah. I had, I was, I had uh, terrible allergies. I had, I was on very powerful antihistamines. I was still doing hay fever season. I was just miserable the whole time. I uh, had very low resistance to disease. I caught everything. I actually flunked wood shop when I was in, in junior high school because this wasn't there. You know, for a boy, it's like it's like flunking puberty. You know, <laughs> uh, so I, I just was in, in terrible shape, and uh, like I said, very poor resistance to disease. And I also had learning problems, which was the top, the special topic we're going to talk about tonight. I had severe learning problems. I, w I would probably have diagnosed ADD, attention deficit disorder, back it, back in the old days uh, before they had that diagnosis. And still, they just called me slow. Um, and uh, now, since I've got under applied kinesiology care, this is what really turned me around. This is why I emphasize this so much. Uh, I have abundant energy. I don't take any antihistamines anymore. And I very seldom have problems with allergies. I have a much stronger immune system than I had back then. Uh, you can pick me call me on the phone with the flu, and I catch over the phone. I had no resistance at all. And now I get during the winter, especially, I'm exposed dozens of times a week, often. And unless I let myself get run down, don't get adjusted, don't get asleep, I almost never get sick anymore. And yeah, my G, by the way, my genes are the same genes I had in my 20s when I was so sick. So what, it's not the fact that I have good genes, it's the fact that we're able to express my genetic potential, my innate ability to heal to the point where my, my uh, assistant was very weak before it became very strong. And I really could have never have gotten through Palmer College with the kind of learning problems I had back, back before I got into this kind of care. And I got through Palmer and, and uh, have, uh, going on to uh, study lots of things since then. Um, but really, it, it wasn't really until I met, I, I, been, I went to a lot of doctors in Detroit and really didn't get any help until I found a good doctor named Dr. George Goodhart, which is a great name for a healer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And he was, a, I was just lucky that he was a person who developed applied kinesiology, this technique. And I've been to all these other doctors and nobody really had any clue what was going on with me. And so I even, even kind of told me it was in my head, you know. Uh, which is sort of adding insult to injury. Um, but uh, Goodhart could actually figure out what's wrong with me. And I, I almost didn't even care if he, if he could fix me. I'm just so happy to have someone tell me something that made sense about my, my health. But he was able to help me and uh, made all the difference in my life. And when I saw the difference it made for me, when I saw how I went from just barely getting by to surviving to thriving and actually able to, you know, go to college and, and chiropractic college. And, uh, Palmer is, is a very demanding schedule. I made it all through that. And uh, when I saw the difference in my mental abilities, in my physical abilities, in my immune system, I thought, my gosh, I wonder how many other people have this kind of problem. And this is why I became a chiropractor, because I wanted to help other people to achieve the same kind of uh, change in their life that I had, to, I had to change, I had to achieve. And by the way, my wife has severe problems too, and she had a carpal tunnel syndrome that nobody could diagnose, nobody could fix until. By the way, it's my lovely wife over there, Karen. Hi. My lovely Hi. assistant, Amy. Um, uh, 
And my son had strange, strange problems uh, left over from birth trauma that uh, the pediatrician had no clue about, and and uh, doctor got everything able to fix. So I had like you know three miracles in a row that said, okay, I get the message. You know, <laughs> this is something important. I need to pay attention to this. And so I've been privileged to do this for a living and see those miracles happen all the time in the office. Take people whose lives are compromised and, and help them to achieve their fullest potential. Um, it, and one thing I noticed when I was sick was when I was, well, I was in my 20s, I was not say sick, but I had so much less potential. There was so many, it took all my energy just to get by. And I personally feel that everybody has a gift to give to the world. Uh, but if you are just getting by, if all your energy is taken up just with survival, you don't have much of uh, resources left over to give people around them. And I really think this world needs all the help they can get. And I don't have a lot of confidence in big business or big government to, to do that job. I think it's going to happen at a grassroots level. Everybody contributing what they, they're giving their gift to their family, to their neighborhood, to their community, and making a difference that way. In fact, our office motto is we change the world by optimizing health. Because our goal here is, is to bring as many people as possible to the optimal level of health so that they can function at their highest level and have the greatest impact on the world around them and give their gift to everyone. 